Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the Solange Welly from Percussion. Um, they're really, really good on the outside looking at them, but they've got that cheaper price tag that doesn't really sell it like a Chameau or an Eagle. So we've got this cutaway boot given to us by Percussion. So we're going to have a look at what the Percussion boot is actually made of. Then we can compare it against something like a Le Chameau Visenord. Um, so, so exactly the same material as a Chameau for the sole, a harder non natural rubber but has a lot better grip on it in my opinion so for if you're working in really muddy wet environments this would be ideal also comes with a steel shank that is put inside between here and here of the boot so it will stop any bend too much of a bend which will help protect your ankle and your sole so let's have a look at the inside construction so this pink layer here is a midsole that is glued to the actual sole itself and then allows the neoprene to be attached to that above. So the neoprene is this black and orange layer here, which obviously keeps your feet warm, adds a bit extra cushioning on the sole. And then we have this big thick black layer here, which is a removable insole. It's glued at the front so we can't take it all the way out, but every percussion boot you can do this. Remove it, wash it, dry it. Stop your boots getting too minging. And then on top again, we have neoprene. Um, the neoprene they use is four millimeters thick. It's also got a fleecy lining to it on the outside, just for a bit of extra comfort and warmth. Uh, Shimo boots have three layers of rubber. It's natural, exactly the same rubber as the Shimo are using. So 60-40. Just because they're saying it's natural rubber doesn't mean it's 100% because if it was 100% it would either melt in the sun or freeze in the cold. So they mix it up with a couple of other different chemicals to make it that bit more flexible and durable. So you've got your neoprene here, then you have the first layer that goes on top, then you have your wearing points here, here, here and here, and then you have this outer layer. These are a bit shinier than a Shimo. They spray these with a treatment to stop any animal urine or chemicals affecting them because of the natural rubber inside of it. It does need to be looked after that bit better. Um, then you've got your buckle on the side. Exactly the same again with the gusset. So it's a bit easier to take on and off. Overall shape is slightly different to a Shimo, so it's a little bit kicked out at the back a bit more so it is better for those of you who have a wider calf. So when you compare it to the Shimo, it is very very similar. It's an inch shorter which will save 80 grams in weight. Um, I know that means not to go, you can't go as deep but what's an inch between friends. So you can see the straightness of the Shimo and the way this kicks out at the back but these are a third of the price for a pair in comparison. It makes plenty of sense to go for one that is 89 quid, not 175 quid. Um, the rubbers are the same. You need to look after it as much as you need to look after a pair of one of these. The neoprene is a millimeter thicker. These have a 300,000 flexion test on them with no wear. They have a 6.5 Newton meter tear rating, so just as good, if not better, than these. I think it'd be crazy not to buy a pair. They're, they're not what the Royals wear and not what all the fashionable people wear, but in time, people will see sense, especially with the better grip. They'll be ideal for farm work, um, keepering, have just as a work boot that's not gonna cost you a fortune. You could wear these all summer on a rear and field, in a parlor, something like that, wreck them, and not go, oh, I've wrecked another pair of Chameaux. It's another 175 quid for a new pair of wellies. It's 90 quid. And I'm sure somebody's boss wouldn't mind paying for that instead of a pair of that. Um, if you went to them and said, oh, I can have two pairs of these and one pair of those. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. See you again soon.